Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Tropical back here today for a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Montreal Canadiens. And yes, the Montreal Canadiens yesterday signed a new goaltender in Jakob Dobesh. I think I'm saying it right. If I'm not, tell me in the comments below. But uh, yeah, Dobesh was playing with uh, in the NCAA and he had really, really nice statistics over there. We've been talking about him multiple times on the channel. And yes, he signed his entry level contract of two years with the Montreal Canadiens. The deal will start next year as he's going to be finishing the season with the Laval Rocket this season. So yeah, today we're going to be looking at the goaltender situations for next year for the Montreal Canadiens because it's starting to look a lot more interesting than it was this year. But yeah, before getting into the video, I invite you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 5k subscribers before the summer, 21st of June. That's the date. So if you could help me out with that by subscribing and turning on post notification, that would be amazing. As well as the like button, let's try and get 75 likes on this video. I'm going to be trying to post a lot more over the month of April. I've been liking over the last few months. A lot of things have been going around in my personal life. But yeah, we're, we're trying to get back to the two video a day format that we had at the start of the channel for this month. So if you're hyped for that, let me know in the comments and leave a like. So yeah. The goalie situation in Montreal is starting to get interesting as soon as the, the rumor started that um, Jakob Dobish was going to sign. Not because he's signing, but just because of overall what's going around with the Habs. We have Montabo, who's been progressing well this year, and we have Jake Allen, who's been not as good as we thought he was going to be this year. Uh, actually, Samuel Montambo has been a lot better than Jake Allen. Personally, I think way more consistent. Sometimes Allen just has really, really bad games. And I don't think it's ideal to have a goalie like that as your first goalie in your system. So yeah, with Keaton Primo coming over next season, uh, at the start of next season, Primo is going to get called up for the camp. And if the Habs want to send him down, uh, since he's got a little bit older, he's now at that age, uh, the Habs will have to send him down. And if he sends, if they send him down, he's going to have to go through waivers first. And if he does, it's most likely that he's going to get claimed. He has a lot of potential still. And there's most likely a team that's going to be ready to take a risk on him. So that's not what the Habs want. They want to keep Primo. They don't want to lose him for free. So he's most likely going to be staying with the Habs next season. So um, in that situation, we have Haaland, we have Montabo, and we have Primo. So that's definitely not what's going to happen. There's probably going to be some movements in nets. And I don't really see how they could trade Montabo after the progression he's had this year. He's been one of the best players on the Habs. He's been really, really, really rock solid. And he's been showing some flashes to potentially be a first goaltender in his prime. Because, you know, prime of goaltenders come a little bit later in their career. So maybe when he's going to be 28, 20, 20, 28, 29, 30, maybe he's going to, to be a first goaltender in the NHL. So that's not a risk you want to take to train Montabo. And then he ends up becoming a first goalie. Because like I said, he's been showing some really, really decent flashes of potentially becoming a first goaltender in the NHL. But uh, yeah, Jake Allen, though, a bit older and consistent. He always been inconsistent. Uh, he hasn't been a first goalie this year for the Habs. Personally, I think that Montabo has been more of a first goalie than Jake Allen. So personally, I think that the Habs should, and I think that they need to trade Jake Allen next year uh for next year at least this summer uh so yeah definitely a thing that we will need to take a look at because there's no way they're going to be starting the season again next year with the three of of uh primo allen and montabo there's one of them that's going to be gone and i'd put my my five dollar on jake allen personally i think that he's the most likely to get moved away and i think that would be the the safest scenario considering his age and what he's been doing over the, the this season for the Habs. And it would be ideal to make Primo go a little bit more games in the NHL because, yes, he's, he's been proving already that he's good at the HL level. He's just been 
inconsistent at the NHL level, but I think it's just a lack of confidence. Uh, he just looks nervous, and it's just normal for him to be nervous. He plays one NHL game a year, and with the taxi squad situation, the COVID situation back with the pandemic, it did not help his development at all. So I think that uh, the ideal situation in net next year for the Canadians would be to have Montalbo as the first goalie, Primo as the second goalie, and in the AHL, having Jakob Dobesh as the uh, first goalie in Laval, because I think Dobesh has a lot of potential. Personally, I think that he has more potential than what Primo had when he came in with the Habs. Really, really solid goaltender. And uh, being a European, you know, European goalies have been on the high over the last couple of seasons. So, yeah, definitely Dobesh is going to be a goalie to watch. And I think that he has a lot of potential and he's probably one, one of the most untalked about prospect in the half system. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to follow. Personally, I'm trading Jake Allen. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments below. If not, give me your ideas in the comments. This has been your boy Tropical and I'll see you all later for another video. Have a nice rest of your day and bye-bye.